Okay, welcome back. It's Monday morning, the 10th, 10th of June. We've got this, I'm in the 215R, I've got the square on the back. We loaded up with liquid N, we're gonna go put some liquid N on the, some N35 on the uh, grass stubbles, what we took the haylage off last week. So, yes, yeah, so we've got 120 acres of that to do. Uh, George, I'm just about to set George off. He's got the 155 with the Amazon spinner on the back. He's gonna spread some MOP, which is potash. There he is, up the top of the track there, look. Yeah, he's got to spread, also spread that on all the cutting grass as well. Other things going on this week. Uh, I've got all the wheat to spray with the T3 by the end of the week, that he's doing. I've got to take the front mower to pieces and find out what's bent on that and also wanted to try and make a bracket so I can sit these uh, two Gen 4 screens side by side on the command arm. I'm sure a lot of you have probably seen the video of it. Hunts don't, John Deere don't make a bracket. I'm gonna have to try and make my own one. Change of plan. The lambs are still out in that field, that haylage field. So we're gonna go and start in a different field and I don't think you can see, but Laura is actually out in that field, the one that she topped on Friday. She's put an electric fence halfway across the field. So she's gonna electric fence it and then put the lambs back into there, into that grazing field. And then, and then we can come and put some fertilizer on the field, what the lambs are in right now. We'll go to a different field. Right, we've come down to some different grass fields. I haven't got any sheep in. George is uh, away spreading fo uh, potash. And I'm just going to unfold this boom. I've got to quickly switch the nozzles around to a fertilizer, and then we'll be away. We'll get some get some nitrogen on this grass. Uh, the weather's looking unsettled. Definitely low pressure at the end of the week, so definitely not haymaking weather. It's going to make it a little bit tricky trying to get the wheat sprayed this week. It's windy today, and they're forecast showers for today as well. So we'll get this fertilizer on, and then it will get washed in. So we've got, we got to switch from spraying nozzle to fertiliser. Okay, I've just started. Got to go around the headland. There's quite a lot of poles out in this field. I would have rather us put granular nitrogen on these fields, but we haven't got enough, so. And we've got liquid in the tank, so we're using liquid. The liquid was, will also get washed into the ground quicker and uh, get the grass growing quicker as well. So, on my days, it's gonna be annoying. I think we should swing the boom over their garden fence. <laughs> they don't mind a bit of fertilizer on their grass, will they? Oh dear. I'm gonna have to fold up and get past that. It's not too bad, I've locked the boom and I've folded in this side of the boom, the end section, so we should get past now. Just clip the fence on that side, not too bad. But we're, we're past. We can unfold the boom again now. All right, I'm just about to start the land work. I've got the boom to the pole. We'll send to the GPS, and then we'll back up and start. Yeah, so now when we go past the pole, we should miss it. Should. Yep, just. Okay, we're away. There's like seven poles in this field. 
Just going around another one. Luckily, this is the worst one. We're doing that first. The next field, the next several fields, don't have any poles in at all. So, at least we get this one done and out of the way. Just folding up. George is just leaving. He's a whole field ahead of me now. I've come back to nursery field. I've just done folding. Laura's already done the electric fence and moved the lambs back out into into the uh, grazing field. So I'm just going to put some liquid in on it. There's a bit of sheep out here, but I'm pretty sure that'll be gone by the time we come to mowing second cut. I'm on the last field now. Found some more poles. There's a line of twin poles that go all the way up, just up through this field. So I've fertilised either side. I went down that side and then back up the other side. So I've done either side. No, I'm just covering in between, sort of weaving in and out of them. Just do it once up the, once up the field. But yeah, like I say, last field, I'm almost done. And then I'm gonna go give the sprayer a good wash. Ooh, you're gonna miss the pole? Yep. Okay, welcome back, Tuesday morning. So, uh, I'm gonna go spraying in a minute. I'm gonna do a tanker spray, and they are forecast showers today, but the radar is clear at the moment, so we'll do a tank and then and play it by ear sort of thing. I started this yesterday afternoon, after I washed the tractor. Tractor and sprayer's all clean. And I've cut out this bracket this morning. I'm just gonna screw it on. I will uh, paint it when I've got more time, but I thought I'd just screw it on and see if it actually works for now. that fits on there really well I'm, I'm pleased with that I got all the holes in the right place it is a little bit wobbly I still need to tighten out properly though so hopefully once it's tightened up I need to get some shorter bolts uh, for the top holes hopefully once it's tightened up properly it'll be good it's just that it will hit the steering column if you go too sharp to the left the ones I've seen in the in the videos you end up you get a bracket that and you have them centralized but if you have it have them centralized when you go twist right round to the right this screen will hit here so i thought it would be better to have it on the left but we'll see i might just try it today get get the right screws for it try it today whilst i'm spraying and go from there uh, i did think about putting it on top but then it's going to restrict my vision <laughs> Taking the front box off because the wheat it's got tall now and it rubs on the I didn't want it didn't want it to rub the paint off. Right, the screens are in. Oh. 
Let's go spraying. I am pleased with how the screens have mounted, but I do feel like I'm going to have to centralise them. It's just a bit too much. I think there's a bit too much weight on this left side. I don't know how well it's going to. This bit here is going to put up with the strain, so I'll probably have to centralise it, even though it will hit over here. But we'll see how it goes. But considering it only took me 10 minutes to quickly cut out that bracket and drill some holes in it, I'm I'm pleased with it. It all lined up. All the holes lined up first time, so that is a. That's a success for Mark 1. We'll call it Screen Bracket Mark 1. Pre-production. I'll get this sprayer unfolded. I ordered a new phone last night and it's supposed to be being delivered between 7am and 1pm. And I just know that as soon as I get start spraying it's going to come. I'll see it on the cameras at my house. And I would have thought it's quite unlikely that they'll leave it on the doorstep. I ordered it thinking I won't be spraying this morning. The forecast showers for today, but now uh, there's no showers around, so I'm out spraying and I'm probably going to miss my phone. Have a day off, for Christ's sakes. I've literally just started going around the headland and it started raining. It's just my luck at the moment. Last night, I was so annoyed with myself last night when I realised that I deleted the drone footage from Haley's Bales. Just, yeah. So frustrating. I got mixed up with all my memory cards and I put a memory card in my in the camera which I thought was an old one that I didn't need anymore and cleared it and I, and turns out that had the drone footage on it so I reckon I'm gonna have to stop you know. There's no point in going spraying if it's just gonna rain. Is a... It stopped again now. It was only a few spots. So oh it's still spitting now. I don't think it's going to come too much. The radar's clear. There's nothing on the radar, so I don't know where it's come from. All that cloud up there, I guess. Just enough to make my bonnet all spotty. Well, that's one good thing. He's put the phone through my letterbox and uh, left it there, so that's a relief. I was just about to quickly fold up and run back, but he said he would just leave it. I was able to shout at him through the camera. Right, let's carry on spraying. We're getting somewhere now. We're sat in the middle of a field of dorsum, and uh, this all laid really wet in the winter, but it looks well considering, considering the wet winter. So, yeah, it's all uh, it's all flowering. I'll get out and show you a bit closer up in a minute. See it flowering? Oh, it's got nice big ears on it. It's going to be a lot of grain on an ear of wheat. That's good. There's a few wild oats over there. I was just going to quickly go and pull out. And whatever this is. Rogan, whilst I'm spraying. That's a wild oat. That's black grass. I've already done this bit once before. I just missed a few, clearly. get back in the tractor it keeps trying to spit with rain but it's not actually properly rained yet back to fill up complete waste of time watching the tractor it's been the same all season you wash it and 10 minutes later it's filthy look at it it's spotless this morning well I'm just going to fill up with the second load of the day Lambs are out there enjoying the grass. There's loads of clover out there, so a nice bit of grass for them. I've just finished spraying at farm one, and uh, I will continue tomorrow. So I've done 70 hectares today, so not a massive day, but it is still only four o'clock in the afternoon right now, but I've got to go and see a man about a dog, so I won't be doing any more spraying today. <laughs> 